Yeah, obviously very pleased. Um, been working on it a little while now. Um, He's the, the profile of this centre forward we've been looking for for a number of weeks, if not a number of months, um, at this football club. So delighted it's all done and, and, and secured. Um, hopefully he can get down to some hard work in the next couple of weeks and, and bed into the team. Um, we've got a supply and we've a good service um, and that's up to myself and the coaching staff and the rest of the group to do that. And I'm sure if we if we can get do that, then he'll score goals. He has got a great goal scoring record and he's a, he's a striker that will complement what you've already got in the squad as well, won't he? Yeah, definitely. He, He's a, a goal scorer. Um, he scored goals throughout his career. Um, had a lot of clubs in, in recent seasons and probably never felt settled at, at certain clubs. So hopefully we can provide a home for Nicky um, and he can real, really feel comfortable in this environment and then and play some of his best football. We know if we get him at his best, then he'll be successful for us um, and add another dynamic to that front line. You know, he, he'll complement the likes of Ryan Bowman and Alex Fisher really well. Um, we've got the likes of Ben Seymour and, and Matt Jay who are similar sort of players to Nicky as well. Uh, in terms of character as well, is, is something you look at. Um, what, what do you make of his character? Good character, good character. Um, I know some of the lads at Charlton pretty well, so obviously they've, they've given him a reference. Um, followed his career. Um, he, he's been in the game a long time, despite he's still being relatively young. Um, so it's, it'll be an interesting time for him. Um, long way from, away from home, Manchester lad. Um, but some of our some of our lads are from the northwest, and myself included. So this is a great area to live in and a great club to be at. And hopefully, like I say, we can provide a real, real home for Nicky and somewhere we can enjoy his football. Um, good support from the board in terms of getting this deal done as well. It's a real statement of intent, isn't it, from yeah, next to see? Definitely. Look, he's a, a player in demand, um, and I've got to thank the board um, because they've, they've put forward the, the budget and put forward the, for the funds for a player like Nicky. Um, centre forwards don't come cheap. Centre forwards who score goals certainly aren't cheap, um, but we'll get full value out of Nicky. I believe that um, he'll be honest enough to work hard uh, in and out of possession, but he will be judged on that goal scoring record. And we're not going to put a whole load of pressure on him. Um, I hope he enjoys his time here um, and, and really buys into what we're trying to do. And like I say, we've got a good group of people, um, good group of players, um, but being, we have been backed strongly by the board. So look, I'm grateful for that. Um, now it's about an opportunity to put a good team on the pitch. Um, it's the seventh new face to come into the club during the summer. Um, how pleased are you with that and where does that leave you in terms of the recruitment process? Nearly done, nearly done. Um, on the back of those, those seven players signing, uh, we're not a million miles away. There might be a couple of players going out the door before I can get a couple more players in and, and the players coming in might, might be loan players. Um, it's something which has worked well for us in the past. Um, I certainly don't want too many loan players. I want players here on permanent contracts to, to really buy into what we're trying to do and, and have that belief that they're going to be involved throughout a season as opposed to just maybe half a season or a short period of time. So I've got to be cautious of, of the loan players we bring in, they've got to be the right character. Um, we had the examples last year of the likes of Dairy who fitted in really well and was here throughout the season. Um, but I'll address that in the next few weeks. This gives me a bit of time to assess the squad in terms of where we are with the games coming up in a, in a sort of short period of time. We've got a lot of games to look forward to. Um, and I think it's starting on, on Truro on Friday night. Um, we're also launching uh, the new away kit for the season. And um, what do you make of that? <laughs> I like it, it looks good. Um, Obviously, he's got the Flybe colours on there, and we're grateful again for, for Flybe's contribution to this football club. That is vitally important for us. Um, but hopefully, the, the fans can get excited about that new kit, um, and, it, and hopefully, it's a successful kit. We've had the, obviously the the, the luminous the yellow one in the past, which we've seen to always play well in, away from home, um, and the purple one. And this is a combination yeah. of, of the two put together. So hopefully, we'll be twice as good. Um, you just touched on Flybe there, and it's um, one of the longest running. Uh, main club sponsors in the Football League. I think they're now going into the 16th consecutive okay. season. So, I mean, their support is is steadfast, isn't it's it? It's massive, absolutely massive for us. Um, and we've been some, through some difficult times over that period. Uh, I know Flybe are in a bit of a sticky situation themselves at the moment. So it's it's about the area supporting each other. Um, hopefully, these relationships can continue to build and build and build over the years. And you know, a bit of success on the pitch would would reflect well on Flybe. Um, but the shirts are part and parcel of that. And the more fans you see in those shirts on a match day, um, the more it motivates you and, and they're passionate. They are a passionate group of fans and, and businesses like Flyby play a huge part in that.